Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a let's play of Curious Expedition Arctic Expand. We'll jump right in. As you can see, I don't have anything um, unlocked. These two were unlocked via um, the DLC, let's call it. I mean, it wasn't real DLC because it was free, but it was. Uh, they got unlocked when this content was added. I might have unlocked this person right now. I just started up first. Um, try just to see how the game plays um, so I know like <laughs> the main controls you know and um, but I died on the very first expedition and it wasn't even close like everything went wrong one of my party members was eaten and um, yeah so we will jump right in but uh, let me clarify that if you're looking for a professional for someone who actually knows what he's doing don't keep watching. Um, I will... I am not going to win this. <laughs> I'm go it's going to hurt. Uh, we will die in the most gruesome ways. Welcome back to the Explorers Club, old friend. Have you heard... Uh, that was too quick. I'm sorry, I was talking before. What is that you have a good chance of seeing your likeness on that statue? However, I'm afraid to tell you that you are not the only candidate. You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer within our club. Now go, explore, adventure awaits. Basically, uh, the, uh, in the first text box, the thing I couldn't read out because uh, I was talking. Um, they challenge us. Um, they, this society is building a huge statue and we want to be on top of that statue as the greatest explorer ever. And these people are uh, trying that as well. Now, we have to pick our difficulty level here. Good for beginning players and people that enjoy the narration. Standard difficulty, pretty tough but manageable and it requires new levels of strategy only for advanced players. As I said, I'm super... This means easy, normal, hard, but I think normal is already quite distrained. Like, I tried normal and, as I said, it ended terribly, but I didn't really know what I was doing, so how about we try that again? Um, this is probably about to, going to end in absolute tears. So he's going drylands, he's going to the jungle, he's going to the drylands, and he's so it's two to two. Um, I'm assuming they're quite the same, like jungle and drylands. Okay, this is going to be slightly wetter. We'll go for the drylands, um, just because if I had to go somewhere, I probably wouldn't go through the jungle. At least not in this time where like malaria and stuff was all deadly. Eagerly anticipating the forthcoming adventure, I made my way to the docks. We had a little time before the ship would be ready, so I skimmed some stones on the water. Sister Beatrice. Okay, so Anan approached me during preparations. She had decided to leave Britain and demanded we guide her to a nearby native village once we had arrived at our destination in order to spread the word of God. <laughs> See. I think the world would be a better place if 18th century, 19th century Europe hadn't tried to spread the word of God. But we're gonna do it. I mean, she looks nice, right? Look at that smile. I think she's one of the good ones. Um, you know, the one that doesn't withhold food until you l learn the Bible by heart. So let's do this. I accept it, since I would gladly do my part to help spread the word of God. Uh, we got an escort, so the Lord is watching over us. That can't be bad, right? Um, having the Lord on our side. Let's move up. The journey across the ocean brought many wondrous sightings of marine life before one of the crew called Land Ahoy. The foreign landscape beckoned us to explore. There's nothing on our ship's storage. We'll refill water and begin the expedition. Sister Beatrice had pinpointed the location of the village she decided to reach on our map. So there were explorers here before? Because she knows where this village is and we have a map, he said. And she knows that it's here on this map, so... Couldn't she maybe outline the island for us? Like, that's just a dick move. <laughs> I don't want to give you an unfair advantage over your competitors. So... This means we have a quest that leads here. This means um, there's things to explore. And we kind of want to explore these things because there we find stuff that we can take with us to prove how awesome of an explorer we are. 
So let's just get Sister Beatrice out of the way, right? Um, she's a sexist. <laughs> she hates men. <laughs> But in, I'm pretty sure that in 19th century, um, God was considered a man, so you're not a good Christian, my lady. We carefully approached a mysterious native village. The people here were apparently well-armed and formidable warriors. The villagers observed us with curiosity as our trek arrived at their settlement. We moved freely about the village and considered our options with these people. And on it, a stone idol was positioned front and center of the village. Let's steal it. The villagers observed us with caution. They were kind and offered us to help our cause. Upon our arrival, um, Sadikadatta, one of our dragmans, began to converse with the natives. I think she always increases our standing in the beginning by one, so I think that's why it always says this here. Yeah. So, <laughs> take our religion. We accompanied the missionary to the village chief, who was a compulsive talker, who told us about the preeminent landmarks to set eyes on the region, including a holy shrine, which he marked on our map. Our time with the natives was a delight. They remained friendly and offered us help. A small boy placed some fruits by the idol. Can I maybe trade for the idol? <laughs> I think I want to bring that thing home. Okay. Fame... Maybe some native trinket, but it doesn't say fame. It only says fame here for the jewels. I think everything that has this red thing up here gives us fame, but it's only five. That's not that much. Like, uh, I think you get like a hundred or something in the end. So five wouldn't be that much. Let's just leave for now. I told the men to pack up and sail forth. And new adventures could be waiting around. Exactly, we wanna be adventuring more. Where do we go now? Where do we go from here? Um, I, I went on this thing because I want to see like the surrounding area. And when you go on these hills, I found um, you see more. It costs a lot of sanity, which is like uh, it's obviously how mental we are. <laughs> but you can take it as like how tired we are. It goes down the more we move. Let's enter the stone circle. We came across a stone circle that seemed to be man-made. There were inscriptions painted upon each rock. Perhaps they formed a type of map. George McKinnon seemed visibly upset at the idea of desecrating th this ritual site. Wait. Oh, he's superstitious. Suffers from irrational fear of what is unknown or mystery. <laughs> he's a whiskey expert. Oh yeah. <laughs> I call myself a whiskey expert. I'm, I'm quite the expert at putting that into my belly. Uh, seem visibly upset at the idea of desecrating it. So let's desecrate it. <laughs> because crude Gregor. We'll reveal runes? Yeah. Um, we kind of knew that. Th that was pointless. Let's move here. We approach a cage. The rocky mall led into darkness of unknown depth. We a torch in order to venture forth. Okay, we do have a torch. We actually have three. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We found a small passage in one of the walls that seemed to lead into another part of the cave. Only one person could fit. Well, we could send that kid because he hates us. Or we could send her because... Look at that. Look at those eyes. Like, that is, that is creepy. Those eyes, they freak me out. It says here the die that I see here, so I'm assuming I'm gonna send her. Sure. So we got that die. So so we made like the roll. That's cool. I sent Sadika Tata to investigate that opening. After a few tense minutes, she emerged from the darkness. She had found the skeleton of a long lost expedition, a sign maybe, together with some valuable items that they absolutely had no need for any more. So we are robbing the dead, which is fine. Some food. Tin cans containing good old English beans. <laughs> Only enjoyable to a certain degree. Some rope and some jewels. Good thing we didn't buy them. <laughs> so I think I can... I think I can eat this. And it doesn't say fame, so I think I can just gulp it down. Um, yeah, it's giving us sanity. I politely refuse to eat it. <laughs> See... It's English beans. It's quite understandable. Now, I could go here and it's only 12 and here it's 14. 
But here I think I'm wasting a machete, so how about we go here? Examine the shrine. We arrived at a majestic structure, seemingly a holy shrine to the inhabitants of the region. It was a bold testament to the power of its creators. A circle of dried up blood had been drawn around the whole structure as a warning for anybody that dared to enter. I could swear I heard the sound of rushing water beneath our feet. Let's go in there. We arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. We quietly looked around the majestic hall. Our steps echoed as we approached the sacred altar. There's a golden skull. A page that was ripped from an ancient tome and is written in unearthly alien letters, but for some reason you know you can read it. Can I just like now read it? So I think we can carry all of this, right? So let's leave you here. And let's leave you here. I, I think the water was free, we got that in the beginning. I don't want to leave the torch because we already used one, so obviously those are useful, but... Oh. Item does not consume weight capacity. Boom. Super. Take it all. Actually, I think we're going to get like a boulder hitting us. Like I've seen Indiana Jones, what happens when you pick up golden stones. This, the spirits are guiding us away from this place. See, see, um, boulder time. This was not a day for hesitation. The treasure was to be mine. We grabbed what we could and hurried outside. As enormous fountains of water burst through the ground and began to flood the surrounding area. We had to run like our lives depended upon it or drown. And the Grand Lake forming around us. So, like, there's water coming out of here now? Did I understand that correctly? Let's eat some more beans. Because our sanity is that low. Um, and some whiskey? <laughs> yeah, let's get hammered. Uh, oh my god. We just desecrated a shrine and the gods are angry. Let's get wasted. <laughs> We're gonna go in here so I see the surrounding area. The region discovered. See, this can't be good what we see here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's a good sign. Um, let's get more hammered. Like, I, I don't want to run. let this run out. I think bad things happen when it reaches zero. Probably we lose. We'll find out. Oh, we're overburdened. More. Can we, like, drop it? That's bad, but I think I don't want to be overburdened. Yeah, because look how much further we get now. That's so much better. Um, there's something down here. Let's check it out. There's also something down here. Oh, all of this drowned. <laughs> That's not good. Let's check this out first. Explore. The bleak and foreboding place was located in the midst of a swamp, littered with the remains of long dead elephants. For some unfoldable reason, many generations of the majestic creatures had come here to die. I spotted animal tracks. Staying here would surely attract some unwanted guests. I mean, what could we find? <laughs> sure, why not? This place surely remained, retained some trinkets of worth. We formed small teams and scouted the place. Wait, so many generations of elephants died here and now we get one tusk. I don't even think one elephant tusk is such a great prize. Like, we need to leave something here, so I'm gonna leave these. And... No, I, I, I can leave the water like this. Um, I still think there should be more than one task for the uh for all these elephants. But as well as we noticed that our presence had attracted hungry wildlife. Okay, let's kill some higher wildlife. So this is combat, and as I said, I've only played one round, and it ended in absolute terror. But basically, what happens is you roll, and you get these dice, and you can put them together, and like multiple dies mean something, um, but I don't know how you can see what they mean. So for example, I don't think I want any of this. <laughs> Let's roll again. I only have one attack die? For real? Like, this is basically what does damage, right? And I can do it with this and I do three damage and I do it with this and nothing happens and I can do it with this and nothing happens. So let's do this and we get a precise attack on him. Let's roll again. We have a quick shot and this doesn't work, so sure, let's shoot him. We can't roll anymore, so we'll just end it. 
And he just hurts us. Gregor McKinnon is hurt. Let's roll again. We got the gun. Point blank! Papyong! See, I'm actually not too sure if this is a good idea. Because... What happens when I take this out? How is this useful? Headbutt, enemy stunt. Oh, I like that. Let's do that, and then we just shoot him. Because he's done, if I understood this, right? Yeah, look at this. So I'm assuming he can't hurt us. Sure, defend. Yeah, he's done. See, he, he can't hurt us. That was... That was a smart move. I am a smart person. I want to get the gun because now I can do the point blank and I think he has... Yeah, yeah, the last one took six as well. So they always have the six life. We deprive the dead of anything useful. Ooh, lots of good things, I think. <laughs> so I think the rope is kind of valuable, unvaluable. So let's get this. This is 10 value. This is 15. So this is definitely better. This is 20. Do I leave the machetes? I think I need them, right? I'm gonna leave the torches for this. And I'm, I think the meat is going to be the worst of this loot. So, let's go here. And I think I'm gonna then gulp down the whiskey before I do anything, in case we get something, so I don't have to ditch the whiskey. Actually, I think I can do it afterwards, because um, it, it said, I think, overburdened just once, so... The scaling of the falls... The scale of the falls took my breath away. It was an awe-inspiring sight. The waters cooled the air, creating a fresh breeze. Oh, let's rest overnight. I think this gives this thing. Lepidopterophobia. Instructed the track to hold and allowed everyone to rest. It was pitch black night as we sat and stared into the fire. The gorgon had failed, flailed as a tiny butterfly flew past. That night she dreamt of giant butterflies devouring him alive. What a ridiculous notion. So he is now scared of butterflies. <laughs> he's injured. He believes in terrible things and he's scared of butterflies and he's... He knows his whiskey. Let's, let's be nice and just say he knows his whiskey. So we rested five days. Uh, as prepared for departure, I knew he would miss the rumbling of the waterfall. We would miss. The natural beauty here was breathtaking. Well, I think I want to sleep once more. Uh, is, was there a downside? We decided it would be a good idea to stay here and allow everyone to rest. This was a good place and I was sure we would get some well deserved rest here. All this traveling led us to inherently know each other's perks, habits and foibles. We discussed our different childhoods, which awarded me a great appreciation of my team. Greg McKinnon told me about how he was attacked by a rabbit. <laughs> rabbit rabbit. <laughs> when he was a child. <laughs> Since then he had bought deep distrust against them. <laughs> But he's also scared of butterflies and rabbits. He he's how is he a soldier? <laughs> like okay, as a child, Satikatata dreamt of becoming a cook. Yeah, but okay, let's run. Uh, I mean, she also knows her way around the whiskey. Understand? This is a great team. Like we're all just drunkards. After days of rest, we still enjoyed the rumbling of the waterfall. This was truly a beautiful place. I think we can leave now. We're full up. I'm gonna go up here. We need to find some kind of golden pyramid and I'm assuming it could be here or here and here we just have more plays so I think the chance of finding it there is higher so I'll go up there. Also maybe this tiger is defending it, who knows. There's something here. Um, I don't wanna... Oh, there's that pyramid thingy. <laughs> I guess we didn't have to wait all this time. Uh, let's explore the pyramid. The image is just a big golden pyramid rose above its environment. We had overcome all events to achieve success. Enter the pyramid. After weeks of traveling, tremendous relief overcame me. I knew that this name, Charles Darwin, would go down in the annals of world history. I wish you could do your own so it's like your name instead of Charles Darwin. But at least he's an explorer. Like, there's people in this game who just aren't explorers. Like, I was scrolling over to see if they're, like, all 18th century, uh, 19th century. And there was, like, uh, I think Tesla was one of them. And um, 
H.P. Lovecraft was one of them, the guy that wrote uh, Cthulhu, so, you know. <laughs> so we got 360 fame. See, that's what I mean, the 5 fame for the diamonds wouldn't have done a whole lot. So we can pick a perk for the next expedition, I assume. As I said before, I didn't win this. Navigator increases the gained compass accuracy when overcome, uncovering fields. Compass accuracy. Plus 30. I didn't know we had a compass. <laughs> Receives an additional defense die. This is nice. Um, oh, we could take this. Well, this time we went dry land. So we could go to the jungle next time. And this would probably help us. Let's go with this. So he got 359. We got 360, I think. So. We beat his ass. Yeah, we, we got 360. <laughs> we win, we win. Na, 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 na. <laughs> oh, why now we can either sell it or get more famous. That's the skull. Well, we we'll like drowned half the village. That's more fun. I think I'm just going to always go for what's more, so let's sell it. Sell it. Wait, let's sell it. So, so. Um, I mean, we did pretty well on this expedition. So I guess we could sell it and just see. But I don't even know what you need money for, so I'm just gonna gift it. Um, I think 20 is okay. Uh, I, I don't know, to be honest. But again, I, I think 80 monies is okay. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I get to pick. The, uh, this is jungle? What do those four mean? I wanna know what. Can I have all this now? I think I want to go to the jungle, not to the desert. Um, first of all, because the jungle has water. Like, I think the if you're not eaten by a tiger, going to a jungle in real life would be safer than going to the desert. Um, and also, we just picked up the jungle perk. So I think the mere fact that we just picked up this perk makes this an easy choice. So let's start the expedition. I'm going to make a quick cut at this point, just so every episode is one expedition. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. Uh, it was a great first episode for me. Um, <laughs> we survived. I'm still surprised. Uh, do click that like, bu like button if you can, if you want, if you feel like that's the appropriate thing to do. And do join me for the second episode of this Let's Play. Have a great day. <laughs>